Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So on today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, we're still gonna do ramen noodles, but we're gonna branch out a little bit. We're gonna start doing different videos on different things, kind of random. I don't wanna say I'm getting bored or sick and tired of the ramen noodles, but I'm kind of getting sick and tired of ramen noodles. But we're gonna branch out and start trying new things, doing new projects, doing more open boxes, kind of just different stuff. I wanted to talk a second about my Patreon account. I do have a Patreon account. And a Patreon account is from support for people like you, subscribers. I want people to support the channel. Let me put my camera down real quick. Patreon is where you, the subscriber, um, can support creators like me in doing different projects and doing different things. You know, it takes money to do all these cool things that I do for the channel. I love to do them. It's really fun, but it takes money. And I'm not asking for a ton or anything like that. I'm not even asking for money. I mean, it's just up to you. This is totally up to you. If you want to be a supporter of this channel and see some really cool projects that I have in mind, go to the Patreon account. The link is in the description below and become a Patreon of Kalen's Life. If you're a supporter, um, anything from shout outs to, you know, gifts and stuff like that, that, uh, you know, if I can make happen i'm gonna send you guys some stuff that will be really awesome so do that go to the link below become a patron of kaylin's life and i really appreciate it. enough of this enough of that all right what we're gonna do today is i'm gonna make some pickled hot dogs i know that sounds really weird but have you ever gone to the store and you see uh the mama sausages and all that good stuff i'm gonna make my own version of these it's probably not gonna taste exactly like that. These are not gonna be spicy. I'm, I might change my mind. I actually am thinking I'm ch about changing my mind on that. This is just gonna be a trial thing. Let's go over here. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make some pickled hot dogs and we're gonna see if these things turn out. All right. Okay, so these are the ingredients that I have for the pickled hot dogs. We have some pickling spice that we're gonna add in. We got some pickled beets. This is gonna be my red color that I'm gonna to add to the brine. I'm gonna use the uh, juice in this for the red coloring. So hopefully that'll work. I've seen this before and yeah, we're gonna give that a try. Then the next thing you know is obviously vinegar, some water, hot dogs that I got here. These were actually really cheap, $1 a package hot dogs. They are chicken and pork uh, franks. We got a little bit of canning salt that we're gonna use and I have a one quart wide mouth jar that I have with hot water inside because what we're gonna do is add all this ingredients in this and bring this to a boil. And when that's done, I'm gonna put the hot dogs in there and then pour the brine over top. And I want this jar to be, have some kind of warmth to it. That way I'm not pouring you know, hot water into a cool jar and hopefully this will prevent it from cracking. And these lids I actually got from Walmart. These are just little plastic lids, they're reusable because I'm not sealing this, I'm not canning it. Um, these will probably be eaten within, you know, a week or two. We just need this type of lid. We don't need any, we're not doing any canning on this. This is just the, uh, the container that we're putting them in. You could use any other container. Let's go ahead and combine all these ingredients in this pot, get them boiled up, and then we will add it to the jar and go from there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first add in two cups of vinegar, okay? I'm gonna try one cup of this. Well, we'll see how much it does. About a half a cup of brine, and then I'm gonna do in about one cup of water. All right, so there's one cup of water. We're gonna add that in there. The next thing we're gonna do is turn on the stove to high heat. We're gonna bring that to a quick boil. And then I'm gonna add in, let's go ahead and just add in a quarter cup of salt. Let's add that in there, eh, we'll add a little bit more. Can't hurt. Let's drop in some pickling spice. We'll see how that goes. Okay, let's mix this up a little bit. There's that. And it actually tastes pretty good. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I decided that I am gonna make it spicy. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of, this is ghost pepper from Tropical Pepper Company. I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna do probably 
about that much. Just a, just about a half a tea. I don't want these things killer because the kids might want to try them. So, okay. So my brine is getting nice and hot. I see some smoke coming. I'm gonna give it a taste real quick. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is this is smoking. It's getting hot, it's starting to steam. So I'm gonna dump out this water and then we're gonna add the hot dogs to this. Now that this is boiling, I'm actually gonna turn this off because I think that's good enough. These hot dogs are cooked and they will fit in there perfect. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a few of these beets to the bottom. We're gonna just drop those in. So we're gonna add a couple of these dudes in there. Okay, so now let's cut open the package of hot dogs and we're gonna see how many we can actually get in. Let's take and poke some holes in the hot dogs. I don't know if this is necessary, but why not? Okay, we're gonna be able to get some more in. Okay, a couple hot dogs went south on me. I think we're gonna fit one and a half packages. I think we have one more in there. Let's get them in there and poke some holes. There we go. Awesome. All right, I think I might be able to get a couple of these around the sides. Okay, so there we go. I got a package and a half of hot dogs in this container. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit. Get that there. And let's go ahead and add in this brine to the container. There we go. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is cap it up. All right, there you go. All right, everybody, so there is our pickled hot dogs. We're gonna let these sit for about, I'm gonna say, let's do one week. So next week around this time, we're gonna go ahead and open these up, which will be in about three seconds. All right, ready? Here we go. All right, guys, so we are back, and it has been one week since I have made the pickled hot dogs in a jar. So let's go ahead and open these dudes up. I'm gonna set down the camera. I'm really excited. I hope they're as good as I could, as I think they are. But if you look, here, let's set up the camera a little different. If you can see, they kind of had a have a reddish hue to them. The dye definitely dyed them. So let's go ahead and open these guys up. They smell like pickled hot dogs. I'm gonna get this one right here. There it is. Oh, uh, wow. Let's see. I'm kind of hoping that it has the same consistency as the hot dogs that the little sausages that you get at the, um, the gas station in the package, the mamas or whatever. I was gonna try to find one. I just didn't have time to compare it to. But uh, yeah, this is them. Let's go cut them. Let's cut it open. See what see what it looks like. It's got a good little snap to it. I mean, you can feel they're they're kind of close. They, I don't know. They smell really good. All right, let's try these things out. They smell good. They smell like the ones at the um, at the store. So we're gonna. They're not bad. They're not very strong. I mean. I was kind of expecting like a, you know, huge vinegar, like a really pungent bite to them, but they're actually really good. They're kind of cooked, they, they taste like kind of cooked through and in, say they don't taste raw. Almost the same consistency. I think the longer that you leave them in, the better they'll be. But I gotta admit, for one week, they're really good. These won't last long. Not hot at all. I did put some hot sauce into that batch that you saw, and I can tell you there's absolutely zero heat whatsoever. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are really mild flavor. I mean, whatever the recipe that I did, I forget what I did at the beginning of the video because it's been a week. Go with it, give it a try, and let them sit for a week or so, and you're gonna love them. They're actually really good. I it. Gone. Done. Okay, let's try something. Let's try a beet. It's really good. 
Mm, mm, mm. Awesome. All right, everybody, these are a win for sure. I will definitely be making these for the price that it costs to make some pickled hot dogs. The same exact thing that you can buy at the grocery store for almost two and three dollars a piece. These are a win. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button, that way you get notified of all of our newest videos. Click on the links below. We do have a Patreon. We really appreciate any support that you can give to the channel. If you can't, no big deal. Just make sure you subscribe. That way you can watch all of our videos. And uh, yeah, make sure you do one thing, stay awesome. We'll see you on the next video. All right, everybody, take care. Bye.